never trust that someone could sing on uh, on this type of music. I say for me, it's very natural because the way you play is it, to remind you on my tracks. Sing it constantly, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, not, you're not doing a free project. Yes. We can and, and he go and play and I sing. So do you find that these sessions are almost like a meditation or experience? Because I, I feel Becky, you know, I, I feel his spirit enough to trust that I mean we can do this without any preparation or, or anything because it's just like a, the connection who, who was huge, you know, for me. But that also comes from having performed together and yes. getting to understand each other on that spiritual level if you like. Yes. So for me, they they both go together. So okay. what, 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 what I say for is the, the the priority is the Kora Maskani. Uh, is it Kora meets Maskani? Maskani. Other 
thankfully, uh, I meet him, Becky, always playing for the Cape Town Jazz last year. So that's how I get introduced to uh, Maskani music. And, and when he was playing that, it was reminding me of my track, the seventh. in the rhythm with a guitar. That's, that is what it is. And, and, and we, we're doing that very naturally until now. And so this project is just an extension of that centuries old uh, we live together, we die together. Yeah. So it's time for us to explore that. And the best way to explore it is to, for me to start with culture. Because it speaks directly to the people. And I think, and I think the world also needs to hear that. To see, you know, what is happening now. What is, in all this craziness happening now in this world. I think it's time uh, uh, again to hear a voice from Africa. A, a voice who is always bringing more hope, you know, and forgiveness. That, that, that's what is behind, because I mean, all of our culture being exposed to war, heavy things. But we have this huge possibility and the capacity of forgiving and go further and leave.